Welcome back to Grace Space Jr. This is Pastor Shay, who is also a news anchor. And I am so welcome, so welcome. Woo woo! I'm so, I'm so excited, I'm forgetting my words. I am so happy you're here today. Today we have been learning all about the prophets and the breaking news they brought to God's people. So, one thing I really want to talk to you about is my favorite holiday. Do you have a favorite holiday? Maybe it's one that's coming up. Maybe that's why I have a Christmas tree here. It's Christmas, that's right. Can you guess how many days we have left till Christmas? 26 days. It's so exciting. Now, my friends, we have this special thing that we like to talk about that comes with Christmas because the reason for Christmas is Jesus. That's right. So we have this thing called Advent. Advent means arrival or coming, and it's to celebrate it's everyone, all Christians all over the world, celebrate Jesus' arrival, Jesus being born. And each Advent season, we get to think about the coming of Jesus, and we talk about the prophets like we did this past month, and how they brought the news from God, and they also brought the news that Jesus was coming. So, we usually light candles on a reef. Um, we're going to use, because fire is a little scary so we're going to use a tree now um maybe your parents have an advent reef set up or something cool like that we are going to use a tree here so our first candle star that we're lighting on our our tree is hope it's called the prophet's candle and it symbolizes hope the old testament prophets especially isaiah who we're going to hear more about waited in hope for the Messiah's arrival, for Jesus's arrival. Um, I have misplaced, I thought I put my candle here. Have you seen the candle? Can you see it? <gasps> I found it. It's not really a candle, it's an ornament. And it is the ornament of hope. We're gonna put that right there. And we're gonna read from the Bible to hear more about what Isaiah had to say. Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and we will call him Emmanuel. This is another name for Jesus. Isaiah talked about a sign from God that would give people hope. Can you guess what that sign was? It was Jesus! That's right! I'm so excited to learn more about what Isaiah has to say and learning more about Jesus and uh, being faithful. So let's go into our news our other newscaster and see what's going on with our interview all month long we have talked about prophets sharing breaking news with people around them the news was usually about people turning from their selfish ways and turning back to god today we will hear some news from the prophet isaiah we don't know much about isaiah but he did have a lot to say let's talk to him now well isaiah thank you for being with us today what message has God given you to share with us? Well, God comes to help those who do right and follow God in God's ways. But it doesn't make God happy when we continue to do what we want and make unwise choices. I see. So God doesn't like it when we sin. What should we do? Well, we should ask for forgiveness and begin to do what is right. Ah. We need to ask God for forgiveness. We need to be faithful to God as God has been faithful to us. That's right. God wants us to be people who can be counted on. Thank you, Isaiah, for reminding us to be faithful to God even when it is hard. Thank you for having me. God didn't think the actions of the people of Israel were all that great, according to Isaiah's message, but we see that Isaiah also reminds everyone to, of the good things God has done. Sometimes when things are difficult, we have to remember that good things God has done for us and other people. They remind us that God is faithful. We interrupt today's activities with some breaking news. This is Emma today with the big idea. The big idea is I can be faithful like God is faithful. Next, we will be talking about our memory verse. If you guys can just repeat after me. First, be on your guard. Stand firm in your faith. Be courageous. Be strong. Great job. Now let's say it together. 
Be on your guard. Be stand firm in your faith. Be courageous. Be strong. Hey, my fun, exciting friends. I just got to 500 subscribers, and that makes me so happy. It seems we are picking up steam, so make sure you like, subscribe, and share my page. Please, 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 please. And just like that, we have a brand new comment from one cool friend, Nicholas. That's a cool name. And Nicholas is from Texas. Nicholas says, my friend needed my help last week with a project, but I totally forgot. I feel like such a bad friend. What to do? I get it. This is a hard one though. Maybe I can ask Allie for help with this one. Hey Allie. Hey Callie, how are you doing? I'm good Allie, but I have a great question from one of my subs. What do you do when you disappoint a friend? Oh, that's a great question. Well, being a great friend means being someone that can be counted on, but we drop the ball sometimes. And when you can't be counted on for something, we can try and ask for forgiveness and try again. That's true. You've always been a great friend to me. Thanks, Callie. I know I'm not perfect, but I always try to be a good friend to you. That reminds me of a Bible story. I'm Sarah. And I'm Kane's Mama Mia! <laughs> and, and these, these are, are your breaking news! Today we will learn about another prophet from the Bible named Isaiah. Prophets gave important news to God's people. Most of these messages were about how God's people should live. A lot of times they were unkind and treated unfairly. It may have sounded a little like God was scolding them, but mostly God wanted the people to remember God's love. God was unhappy when the people made unwise choices and sinned against God. Sin is when we disobey against what God wants us to do. So Isaiah told the people to ask for forgiveness and do what is right. Isaiah reminded the people that God had always been faithful to the people and the people needed to be faithful to God. What's faithful, you're wondering? Being faithful means to stay true. Isaiah was telling God's people to be people. That can be counted on. God wanted the people of Israel to be great. Isaiah also told the people to remember good things that God had done. Sometimes we focus on the not so good things that happen in our lives that we forget that God has always been good to us. It's important that we don't forget all the good things that God has done and how faithful God has been to us. And that is what God wanted the people to know through the prophet Isaiah. Bye, Mama Mia! <laughs> Bye. See, Callie, God understands that we're human and that we mess up sometimes. But God is faithful and accepts us no matter what. We just need to remember to say sorry and try again. We could even try it with our friends too. Even the best of friends aren't perfect all the time. I know I'm not. However, we keep trying and if we mess up, we try and fix it and try to be better in the future so that we can be counted on. Oh, that is really good news. I'll make sure to tell my friend Nicholas that. I'm so glad I called you, Allie. I know I can't be perfect, but how cool is it that I can be faithful like God is faithful? Yep. We could show our faithfulness to God by being faithful to our friends. Isn't that neat? Thanks so much, Allie. Chat later. So, Nicholas, and all of my friends, that was such great advice from my fabulous friend, Allie. Maybe you can tell your friend that you're really sorry for forgetting about their project. People often surprise us with how kind and forgiving they can be, especially if you show them you're for real. I sometimes am not the bestest friend or the best sister, but I try to though. But when I make a mistake, I show my friends and even my brother that I know I messed up and that I'm very sorry. And more importantly, I can ask God to forgive me too and ask for help to get better. Hope that helps. Let me know how that goes. Thanks for hanging out with me again, friends. Gotta run now. Catch you next time. Bye.